Hey everyone, it's Mike Johnson again. In this video, we're going to go over how you can quickly add a new content source to Instant Curator from you know any RSS feed quickly and start using it um, even just as quick. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is short code name. I'm going to create a short code. I'm going to name it anything I want. I'm going to just name it MRI for right now, and it's going to be the RSS feed from uh, marketing resource index.com site okay that's my description my query is nothing but RSS feed okay boom Okay, now I haven't saved anything yet, but I am going to uh, get tokens for this feed. And what the plugin does is it goes out and it goes to the feed and it literally grabs every possible content snippet it finds inside the feed and pulls it out. And you can then, you have all these tokens, you can then go in and click on edit tokens and you can literally change and modify any of these alright and what I've what channel title and channel link is a lot of times the, the main website and or main RSS feed for example if they're using feed burner or whatnot um, what you'll find is that the main content from RSS feeds is always going to be your channel item content uh, or content encoding okay um, part of it so you can literally get rid of all the stuff you don't want from it but it doesn't matter you can test any of this you can change the name of everything here just so you you understand what it is you can add your own description if you want you can decide if to show it or not if you're gonna not use it or whatever you can go back to tokens and the great thing about this, as I said in previous video, you can't break this. I can say, eh, what's this? I don't know what this is. Channel title, I drag it. You see, I just drug it down in here into my HTML, and I click on Preview, and it's going to show me what that token brings. And that's the main website name, all right? You can't delete this or anything, so don't try to delete it. If you go into, you have to go back to HTML, and you can delete that, okay? Um, channel link is most likely going to be the actual website URL. Let's see. Oh, boom. Yep, that's what it is. It's the actual base website URL. Oops. Okay. Um, so, what I've done already by working with these quite a bit is I've found that channel item content is our feed content. If you put that in your template editor and you just click on preview you're going to see it pulls up a test article or probably the most recent article or posting from that RSS feed which it's done here right and you have the article now as your basically as a preview to show you what's coming from the feed. Now what you're going to see here is as far as attribution goes what you have here is this site owner which is me um, has decided to add a piece into their RSS feed that automatically has a link back to their site. Okay so this has built-in attribution which a lot you're going to find that a lot of um, site owners have in their RSS feeds. If they don't, you don't, don't need to worry about it because you can go back here, go to my HTML, and if you know basic HTML, this template editing can be really, really easy. Um, as you'll see, with uh, specifically if I want to put in, say, the title and whatnot to this, I can quickly, if basic HTML is paragraph, and this is paragraph, ending paragraph that's that's it you don't have to be an HTML superstar for that a P and an ending P for paragraph okay 
I can throw in the uh, channel item title here and I can say okay I'm gonna do another paragraph for that so they're separate from each other but I also want to throw that title in as a header to title to show it as a as a header alright then I close my header to and I close my paragraph okay now just from that basic stuff right there I go to preview and it pulls the articles up again but you can see here now I have an h2 title tips and tricks to optimize in your email opt-in box built into it all right so I go back oh I kept that in I didn't it's no wonder that was looking like I didn't close it okay look at that again yep that fix it okay now, what you can do here is if we needed to, if we needed to add in attribution, you can see here, channel item link, right? I can pull channel item link in here and look at preview again. You see here, there is the attribution link. And if you want to actually hyperlink that, you can type the HTML around that link um, for example literal, literal um, a anybody who's created backlinks pretty much knows how to either copy and paste to get this or do exactly what I'm doing here right now type it in and I can just type original post in for now and I go back to my preview and you can see here now I got the link to the original post hyperlinked in the content okay and there's my attribution you won't need that for everything it's good to check every feed is going to be different but I can delete this okay I can click on save and I really messed around with that for a little bit but I just basically I just created a short code and that's how my contents gonna look right there from this feed now if I go in and say I'm gonna start creating curated content on my blog I'm gonna go add new and I'm going for how to create readable content for your blog okay might need an E on that how to create readable content for your blog is my post okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull in some content sources via instant curator and create a blog post quickly okay so let me see I could use article builder but not really let's let's get a oh, let's use our new our new feed but before that what I like to start my, off with is I like to start off with a uh, image picture then what else would I like to see um, after the picture I'd, put in a paragraph of my own text that I wrote for this I'm doing this quickly so I'm not sitting here typing okay this is my own text I'm writing in this is all I'm gonna physically write at the beginning of this um, are you looking for readable content here's an amazing article for you to look at and read and now I'm going to um, go down to my short code I just made I'm going to throw that short code in and you know what before I do that I want to make sure I'm going to go in here to my settings in the short code and mm, I'm going to make sure that I have 
random content coming out of that. Okay. I'm going to throw in random because I don't think I did that in my base settings of the short code when I created it. Okay. Now, um, I like to end this with uh, Okay, now Flickr, I'm going to put in here my keyword, read, I'm just going to, you know what, in fact, I'm just going to say read, and I'm going to put in here my YouTube Readability. Let's do that. Okay. Now, I've really narrowed things down. Let's go to my preview. Okay. How to create readable content for your blog. I got my picture from Flickr. And like that. Uh, I think I need to change that to random again. Um, here's the paragraph I wrote. And I have the RSS feed from the Marketing Resource Index. Now I know in the Marketing Resource Index feed that there's an article on readability. That's why I pulled that RSS feed to begin with. So now I'm going to cycle through the random stuff here to find what I'm looking for. You'll note sometimes uh, to pull the images from the RSS feed, it takes a little bit of time. It's not instant. It depends on the website you're pulling it from. And there it is. How to format blog posts for increased readability. Okay, you see here, I have my content, the picture above. I have, now I have this, which has a picture in it as well, which can be pulled and cached on your, on your site like it's your own picture via the base settings of the plugin. I have the whole article here. The original post is located here. I have my attribution link. All right, and check out this video, which really shows you how to create readable content. Now, you can see here that you can also cycle through and look for the best video for your post. And boom. In just a few minutes, I created a curated content content post, um, and really talking through it took me a lot longer than what it actually takes. And then I can write a con conclusion paragraph. This is how you can really make content you and your blog visitors okay and I'm not publishing I'm just previewing specifically for test purposes but that's when you hit publish boom how to create readable content for your blog I got a picture I got this itself and a conclusion paragraph which you'd want to write a little bit more than that but that is the gist of it and if I said oh, that's why have a D in my read and maybe if I check that out real quick ah there we go I have a more accurate picture now there now it'll change because there's more options no 
know, that's all it wants to do. Okay, but there you go. That is how Instant Cure Reader can go from adding a short code from an RSS feed to creating a post based on that RSS feed that's a curated content post on your site. And it only takes you a few minutes. And uh, it's really based on how much effort you want to put into it. You take normal, how long does it take you to create a post is the size of that would be, you know, maybe an hour. Uh, dwindle it down to basically five minutes, depending on how much you want to put into it. Right? You can do this all in five minutes and have how many posts can you generate in an hour with a plugin this powerful. And that's using any of the content sources here as well. Okay? Well, that's the end of uh, our how to uh, create a custom shortcode video for the instant curator.